Shabbat everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a portable monitor. Now this portable monitor will work over USB-C as well as HDMI. Uh, it offers us a 15.6 inch display that we can add to actually almost anything that usually accepts external displays. I'm talking about your smartphones with DeX or EMUI desktop. I'm talking about your laptops. I'm even talking about the Nintendo Switch or even the Nvidia Shield. This is a very nice, a very thin display that you can take with you. And as I mentioned, works over USB or HDMI. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. In the box, we pretty much have the display, a cover that doubles as a cover as well as a stand, uh, three cables, one USB-C to USB-C, one USB-A to USB-C, and one mini HDMI to standard HDMI. And last but not least, a power brick in case we need power source uh, to power the display um, if we're using it with the HDMI option as most of the HDMIs do not transfer power on it. Uh, last but not least is basically what you want to use on this display and that's how it's going to work. So what that means essentially is that depending on your source, you may need to have power and you may not need it. Uh, so for the Pixelbook Go and the MacBook Pro, no power needed. I connected USB-C cable directly into the laptop and it worked great. Um, keeping in mind that the connections or inputs to this monitor are all on the left side. So the HDMI and the USB-C are on the left for the inputs as far as signal and on the right side, the USB-C is essentially just intended for power. So keep that in mind whenever you're connecting. If you do need power, connect it to the right. Uh, there is a jog dial to be able to go through the menu options whenever you are connected to customize the colors and the profiles to get it best tuned as possible. There are two built-in speakers in here, so in case you do need external audio, this will work great. Uh, they're not the most powerful speakers, but they're definitely good uh, for what we need on the go. Uh, last but not least, we have a power button that doubles as an input button, so clicking it once will enable us to switch between HDMI and USB-C. In case you're running them both at the same time, this is an easy way. Otherwise, the system will recognize whatever it gets inputted and turn on whatever display is working. It automatically does that and it works right. Um, for me, as I mentioned to you guys, I love using it with my Pixelbook Go because it's actually a bigger display than what I have on my display. So because it's thin and because it's actually a 15.6 inch 1080p panel, it works great. It's actually a bigger display than the Pixelbook Go. Um, it matches the size of my MacBook Pro as well as my 15.6 uh, inch, uh, the uh, basically the MSI laptop that I use for mostly video editing. So depending on what you're using, you're going to have a great experience. Um, also, if you want to use it with your smartphone, keep in mind that this, uh, if you're not using an external power source will be draining your phone's battery to run itself. So I do recommend if you do have access to a power source, connect that monitor so that you're A, able to charge your phone and B, you're actually able to basically just use it without draining the battery extremely fast. Um, for DeX, it works great. You do need an external source for that for as far as power. And as far as EMUI desktop, it's very simple. You connect it over USB-C and you're pretty much set and it works great. What I really love about this monitor is the fact that it's small, it's thin, and it's about the thickness of a laptop. So when you're taking it with you, it's almost like you're taking two laptops, but the fact of the matter is it's so much lighter than a laptop that it actually doesn't have that much of an issue. So it is a little bit thicker, you do need to worry about that, but if you wanna have an external monitor that is very flexible, portable, and will work in almost any situation, and it has good viewing angles because it is an IPS panel, um, you're definitely gonna be enjoying the lapel monitor. I wish this had a touch sensitivity. They do have a separate model that offers this, but the current model that I have and that they sent me for review does not include that. I wanna say thank you very much to lapel for allowing me to check out the lapel external display. Again, it works over USB-C as well as HDMI, and it should actually do a really good job for you on the go or even at home. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.